Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, I noticed that my hair is looking longer. Don't you guys think? Like, wow. I could physically tell now. I am using all the Curlsmith hair length products, so I need to update you guys on a length check soon, but I mean... Speaking of Curlsmith, today's video is sponsored by Curlsmith because they have two new products that you know I had to try, which is their new weightless air dry cream. So you might think, what does that mean? But it's actually a leave-in, yes, for all my leave-in lovers, and they have another new gel called the Hydro Style Flexi Jelly. So obviously when I heard about the two new products as a gel girl, I was more excited for the gel than the leave-in, but I have been incorporating leave-ins. You guys have noticed, I've been giving leave-ins a chance, and I'm pleasantly surprised. So let's talk about both these products that I do have in my hair today. Starting with the Curlsmith Hydro Style Flexi Jelly. It's a styling gel for curly and wavy hair, and it says to be a level seven in weightless hold. If you guys are familiar with Curlsmith products, you know they also have a gel called their In Shower Style Fixer, which is a level 10 extreme hold. And I do absolutely love this gel because of its crazy hold. But I'll admit, some of you wrote me saying that it was like too strong of a hold. So if that's you, you're going to love the more chilled out version of the Hydro Style Flexi Jelly. So I want you guys to buy accordingly. Don't just buy whatever I like, buy what you like. So if you like extreme hold, go for the In Shower Style Fixer. You're not afraid of a little crunch. You know how to diffuse it out. You know how to scrunch it out. It lasts you all week long. If you're someone that's like, mm, I like a little bit of crunch, but I don't want it to last forever. I like my curls to be more soft. You're going to love the Hydro Style Flexi Jelly. So right off the bat, I love a brand that caters to everyone's needs. Oh, you want more moisture? Let me create a moisture product. You want more hold? Let me give you extra hold. You want a little bit of hold? Let me give you a little bit of hold. They really are thinking of the consumer. So let's go back to the jelly. This is an eight fluid ounce bottle. It has no sulfates, no parabens, no silicone. It's cruelty free, certified organic ingredient, and it's vegan. So because I was most excited about the gel, I did try the gel straight out the shower on soaking wet hair all on its own. So let me show you exactly how I applied this on day one. All right, fresh out the shower on wet hair. So here I have the Curlsmith Hydro Style Flexi Jelly Styling Gel for curly hair and wavy hair. All right, let's try this. Use about that much. Oh, this smells so good. So refreshing to have a good smelling product. It smells like fruit, a fruit salad maybe. It's a good smell. Let's rake it on in here. Oh, I told myself I was gonna try to do my hair in sections today, yet here I am. This gel has hyaluronic acid, green tea brew, organic thyme, white cedar, mashed am am amla, don't know what that is, and organic lavender. This one also says to apply on soaking wet hair. My hair is is wet. I don't know about soaking wet because my hair takes so long to dry. I mean, look, there's still a lot of water in there. Rake through and then use the praying hands method to smooth all locks down. I love that they actually included that on the instructions. Because now we know to do the praying hands. Sometimes you need a little Jesus to get a good hair day. Smooth and scrunch. Praying hands, scrunch. Make sure every curl has some love. All right, so now I'm gonna let this air dry and then probably diffuse when it's about 95% dry. And we'll come back to show you the results for day one. And I'm back now that my hair is almost completely dry but it looks really good, especially for day one. Look how shiny my curls look. This is before even using a leave-in conditioner. I did deep condition today, but they look really great, really defined. But let me diffuse and see how much bigger we can get it. Wow. 
Looks so pretty. It's looking long too, honestly. Not too much shrinkage on day one, also very important. To fluff that a little bit. I love it. Looks so healthy and shiny. Amazing, right? Really, really, really love the gel. It's a great alternative for those of you that don't want too much hold, but you know that hold is important. Now this gel is $27. So I'll admit it's a little pricey for gel, but for the certified organic ingredients, the vegan, like I just really trust Curlsmith as a brand when it comes to ingredients and the results that I get are always like out of this world. So I always feel like if you're gonna spend the money, you better be amazing. We're not gonna spend $27 on something mediocre and this gel is worth it. Now, today is day three, and since I am trying to incorporate leave-ins into my routine, I like to use leave-ins a little bit later in the week when my hair might need a little bit more moisture. Fortunately, the gel did not really dry out my hair, so my hair wasn't too dry in the first place, but I did add in the leave-in conditioner first, followed by the gel. So the leave-in conditioner comes in a squeeze tube, eight fluid ounces as well, and it also has hyaluronic acid, castor oil, organic nettle, raw dragon fruit, organic ginger, and it's a very weightless cream. That's probably one of the reasons why I don't usually use leave-ins because it could be too heavy and weigh down my hair because I have very low porosity, fine hair. But let me show you how I applied the leave-in followed by the gel. All right, let's refresh this hair now. This is actually day three. So it is time to add a little bit more moisture, so I'm gonna use the leave-in conditioner today. First, I'm gonna grab some water. Fix all the parts that got all straightened out from putting it into a ponytail during my workout yesterday. So just by adding water alone, it already looks a lot better. It looks nice, keeping its definition. Ooh, my hair's looking long. Starting off with the new Curl Smith Weightless Air Dry Cream Leave-In. Conditioners for all hair types, has hyaluronic acid in it, silky castor oil, no sulfates, no parabens, no silicone. Now it says to apply to soaking wet hair after washing, rake through, but it's day two. So I'm going to not soak my hair again, but I am gonna use about this much. And I like to use leave-ins now, later on in the week when my hair is a little bit more dry. It's nice to see that my hair isn't tangled, like I could still rake through it just with this leave-in, so that's nice. A little bit more. Look how moisturized and shiny my curls look. definition on some of these. Cute. Now I'm going to apply the same thing to the other side. All right, now I'm gonna apply more of my Hydro Style Flexi Jelly to lock in that hold. Use about that much. This stuff has great slip. I'm not even trying to detangle my hair but it's kind of doing that, look at that. Day three, wow. More for the other side. I'm gonna let it air dry for as long as possible, and then I'll come back to diffuse. how long my hair looks. Wow. Wow. It looks so good. Okay, I see why you guys like leave-in conditioners. It does add a little extra shine. It looks moisturized and defined and shiny. I love it. These results are 
bomb. I'll admit, I go a little hard in the crunch department. Pun intended, I guess. Because that's usually the only way I get these type of results. But I'm getting the crunch results without the crunch. The Weightless Air Dry Cream is $26, but it also is packed with really great ingredients. So for those of you that already use Curl Smith products, you already know the deal. You know how amazing they work for your hair, and this is just two more that you might need to add to your collection. And by being completely honest, between these two and the In Shower Style Fixer, these are my three absolute favorite stylers out of all the Curl Smith products. These are ones that I would definitely grab on a daily basis. If I had to incorporate all of them into my wash routine, I would probably do the In Shower Style Fixer on day one because it dries really fast and it's good for day one hair. And then because it is such a strong hold, I might not want that strong of a hold the rest of the week. I'd probably then switch to the Hydro Style Flexi Jelly on day two and then probably use the leave-in and the jelly on day three and then continue to use these throughout the week until I absolutely have to wash my hair. So let me know what you guys think of these new products. I know some of you guys already bought them because you wrote me on Instagram raving about them, but if you do have them, let me know what you think. If you're curious about them, which one do you want to try more? What do you think of my results? Like, are we just loving them or what? If you try out these products, I'd love to see your results. Make sure you tag me in your photos on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. And if you enjoyed this video, you know the drill. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that little bell to be notified as soon as I post a new video. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Yeah.